Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details Webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, you go to bookmap.com. There is a 14-day free trial of the platform and it comes with education. So you'll get uh, an educational course uh, and then you'll also get these um, access to these uh, advanced order flow webinars that support the educational course. Okay? It, it just does it in uh, live markets in real time so that uh, you're able to, to, to make that uh, transition between uh, concept uh, in education and live market. Okay, so um, that's what you get as well as the bookmap platform. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always reach us at support at bookmap.com. And uh, let's go to the website here and just briefly go through it here quickly. Um, so uh, just uh, click on explore. It just drops you down here. It's a scrolling page, uh, drops you down into the intro video that you see here. It's a minute long or so. It uh, goes over Bookmap, uh, very uh, uh, basic, um, uh, you know, general uh, uh, advantages that Bookmap uh, displays for you. And then we continue on down here, uh, just about Bookmap, a little bit about the platform, etc. Um, some testimonials. Uh, Bookmap for equities. Okay, so you can. Uh, it's not just for futures any longer. This has been for a number of months now. This is an excellent data feed. Uh, with the NASDAQ total view. Uh, we're, we're again, we're not uh, data providers. You will need one. It's just that one with dev experts, data, um, or, uh, yeah, dev experts uh, will allow you connection to NASDAQ total view. Okay. Here are all of the other uh, connectivity um, uh, platforms or uh, uh, data providers, I should say. So, um, and we can see here the, um, uh, there are, uh, I don't know, a dozen or so. So uh, you will need one of these to connect to your book map uh, to the live markets. Um, and uh, let's scroll down a bit further. I uh, just wanted to mention, yeah, I mean, we are a platform just like some of these other uh, platforms that you see here, like NinjaTrader or uh, TTX Trader Pro. Uh, or Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Now we connect to these as well. Uh, is through the API of these uh, these platforms. So um, so for example, uh, your TTX Trader Pro, or let's say your Ninja, uh, you're connected to CQG to your Ninja. Well, you can also connect Bookmap either to CQG directly if you want, uh, or you can uh, uh, connect Bookmap as an indicator or through the API of Ninja Trader. All right, so that's uh, that's all I uh, wanted to make uh, that point there. Uh, a bit further down, this is where you can find the free trial. It's 14 days. Uh, the pricing, uh, there's Bookmap Basic, uh, Advanced, and Quant. $49 per month for Bookmap Basic and $99 for the Advanced. Uh, the difference between the two are the add-ons, okay? So there's really one version of Bookmap. There's just different features, all right? So uh, a train, being able to trade from the Bookmap chart, Nice advantage here because you have the liquidity in front of you, uh, so you can manage your trades and optimize your trading uh, 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 by a number of ticks uh, with each each trade, basically, uh, being able to front run large liquidity or hide stops behind areas of large liquidity. Uh, and then these proprietary indicators that uh, we have put together, uh, reading uh, order book and balances, reading uh, larger players, large lot tracker, as well as uh, iceberg detector, et cetera. All right. Quants, uh, you'll have specific needs like connecting to your own data or your own proprietary indicators. You can reach out to us here. Uh, scroll down a bit further. Some of our partners. Uh, so uh, if you already uh, have some of these brokers or um, uh, relationships, uh, we, uh, we do as well. All right. Uh, and then you can contact us here. Okay. Uh, social media, you can follow us on Twitter. Uh, it's uh, underscore or at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, and then uh, the um, uh, YouTube page you can subscribe to. And uh, we have the intro videos here that uh, if you're new here, I would uh, recommend watching some of those. Uh, and then uh, features and components, uh, just to 
get get an understanding of what uh, Bookmap is, the user interface, what some of the features are, um, and get familiar with it. Okay, that's what this webinar is all about: is to understand what Bookmap is. Uh, and then we do look at some of the order flow, but uh, uh, the advanced order flow is much more like these uh, order flow video snippets. Okay, so now we're now we're looking here at content and uh, market phenomena and how Bookmap uh, uncovers that. And uh, how it, uh, it gives you uh, advantages by by uh, allowing you that transparency into the marketplace, All right? So this is what we go through in uh, in detail uh, in the um, uh, advanced order flow webinars. Okay. All right. Well, let's take a look at the market uh, and um, step back and take a bigger picture look. All right. So um, we're looking at the Nasdaq again here. Uh, we saw the move up, the sideways move yesterday, and then the move down today. It looks like uh, uh, some buyer found some buyers down below this area, and we're right back into the middle of the range. Let's look at book map. All right, so here's that move down below. All right, and area of large liquidity here. Okay, so no no um, uh, no surprise there. Uh, but uh, this uh, for those of you who are new here, this may look a little daunting. Okay, let's close up the indicator panel that we have, and I'm just going to go through the basics here of what Bookmap is showing you. Okay, because uh, it looks like there's a lot of data, it looks very confusing and overwhelming. It's actually not, it's actually there's only three things that we're showing here, and um, uh, looking at uh, the indicator based uh, uh, strategies and candlesticks and uh, other, other bar types. Uh, those those are conceptually much more advanced than what we're actually showing here. I mean, we're really showing a very basic view of the marketplace, all right? And uh, let me explain. So uh, I'm going to turn on candlesticks, and we're going to start that direction, and I'm going to uh, uh, turn off everything else here uh, and show you that uh, what we're just showing you basically uh, in Bookmap is a very transparent, objective view of the market. Right, it's uh, showing you historical best bid and offer. We're showing you the volume that traded on the historical best bid and offer, and we're showing you the historical auction of the dome, the limit order book. Okay, uh, it's just recorded and transposed onto the chart. So if we look at a candlestick chart, all right, uh, a lot of unanswered questions here. Where did the volume trade? Okay, we we will usually have a, a volume subchart. Uh, on our candlestick chart, but that gives us no insight to exactly where the volume traded on the candlestick. Uh, we have no clue uh, to that. We have no clue to what type of volume, what was the aggressor, more buyers or more sellers. Uh, we also don't have an understanding of um, uh, how much traded exactly where. Okay? These are really important questions to answer. Uh, and uh, it's completely unanswered here in this candlestick. You're just looking at an aggregate period of open high low close of five minutes right and uh, that does not give you a lot of insight here okay so uh, uh, we want to know those details there's going to be microstructural areas within this candlestick here uh, that we have no understanding of uh, and that's going to be really insightful uh, it's going to give us uh, understanding of where some of these bigger moves start to take place because we'll see it in the microstructure to begin with. So let's turn on the microstructure and just look at historical best bid and offer. That's it. That's all we're looking at. All right. And uh, this already gives us a tremendous amount of detail here. Uh, and uh, uh, for example, uh, let's just zoom in to uh, this bottom area here. Okay. And we can see a little structure here already. Okay. There's a double bottom right here. Okay. And we can see that it was broken right here. Okay. We see the swing above and we see that uh, actually price accepted above this area. In fact, it, it's not, here's the pullback coming back to it and we see buyers step in. Okay. Or we see that there's a lack of sellers. Right. This is showing us strength already. Okay. And we don't see that in this candlestick whatsoever. Right. Uh, you just see that, uh, you know, uh, came down here and we see maybe uh, it went to ha about halfway of the of this uh, uh, down candle here. Okay, this is already giving us uh, transparency and insight here. We understand the structure, we understand what's going on, uh, and um, uh, that's going to allow us much more uh, informed trading decisions. And that's because the historical best bid and offer does not aggregate. Okay, uh, if you look at a footprint chart, that is showing you the volume 
uh, where it traded on the candlestick, but it's still aggregating uh, within a time period or bar rotation. Okay, so let's turn on the volume uh, and let's see exactly what occurred here. Okay, so the volume dots here, as you can see, are on the they transact on the historical best bid and offer, uh, and uh, we're getting insight to uh, you know the type of trader by the color here. We're looking at the aggressor classification of volume. So a red dot. Uh, is a market sell. Someone hit the market sell button. Okay. Uh, a green dot is a market buy. So let me zoom into this area to just show uh, that distinction. Okay. And we'll just zoom in here and really get into the nitty gritty details here of what uh, Bookmap is showing you. And it's a simplified version here. Here's your historical best bid and offer. Okay. Let's go into this area here. It's just a, a little bit. Uh, Boy, it's, it's a lot of stuff going on here, actually. Let's go to a simpler area, perhaps. Uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, okay, this looks pretty good. Okay, um, so historical best offer is this red line. Historical best bid is this green line. Okay, that's uh, where the market is being made. Now, these, these dots here are transactions. Okay, so this green dot, for example, we can use the data tip tool, hover over here, and it says the date, the time, what was on the ask at this price level, and it gives me the volume too. Okay, uh, so um, I know exactly what traded here. Um, uh, you know, two contracts traded here. So this is a, an aggressive market buy. Someone hit the market buy button, and they took liquidity off of the best offer. Uh, aggressive sell is right here. Okay, it's the opposite. So uh, that's what we're showing here. But notice all these little structural areas. Okay. We can really get into the details here. Uh, in fact, uh, we can zoom into uh, levels here like in, and to see what really occurred here. Okay, uh, And we can start to zoom in and see everything that took place. And in fact, you, know, you can see we're down at microsecond level. Well, we can continue to zoom in and look at uh, nanosecond level. We're looking at billions of seconds here. Okay, that kind of transparency uh, is uh, is handled with our uh, complex event processor, uh, and uh, that is uh, uh, giving you a very very objective, transparent view of the market. All of this all of this data is recorded. Okay, all we have very very um, accurate portrayal of what occurred here in the market. Very objective. Okay, uh, so. Now, we're not trading at these levels unless you're trading algorithmically, okay? But that doesn't matter. You're going to note here as I zoom out, although we've recorded every single event, as I zoom out, we're going to give you the overall shape of that with the uh, aggregate, an aggregate view, just a, a visual, graphical aggregation, okay? And as I zoom out, and let me bring up the dot size a bit, so just to make this point, as I zoom out, these dots... Uh, turn into uh, uh, like a pie display, okay? So uh, you can see the pie display in, in several of these areas here, okay? So I zoom out more and you'll see these pie displays. It's just that there, there's so many transactions that took place that the size of the dot, and if I hover over here, it says 279 contracts, okay? We know, we know the overall shape of the transactions here. There was a lot of transactions and the majority of it and a slight majority was selling okay there were buyers down here too though all right so we're getting a feel for large transactions the type of transaction uh you know buying or selling the overall delta of it uh and um uh, where exactly it took place that's giving us tremendous insight okay so for this candlestick for for this uh, wick down here well we know that there's sellers down here okay and we know that they're going to be trapped Okay, look at the microstructure that we were looking at earlier in, in this little area here. And this is all trap volume at this point because look at them hit or lift the offer here. Okay, They've, they're charging up out of that area uh, with aggressive buying. And um, uh, anyone who sold down here is uh, probably going to be covering at some of these little spots up above uh, here as they maybe move their stop down or just have their stop up here. Okay. Um, all right, let's bring that dot size down a bit now. Point made. So uh, that looks pretty good. Okay. So we have an understanding of what's occurring at some of these levels. All right. Uh, here's our double bottom. 
Okay, and um, uh, so we can uh, we can see really what uh, on a bigger scale now. Okay, zoomed out, we see another structural area. Here's our microstructural area. We see the aggressive buyers. Buyers are now in charge here. Okay, uh, we need to see follow through on that though. Right, we get another retest down here, and in this little retest, uh, it gives us some some insight in the microstructure. Okay, look at the selling down in these areas here. Do we see big, uh, large, red dots here any longer? No, we don't. Okay, uh, and and in fact, um, uh, we get a, a out of the bigger double bottom here, we get a micro double bottom here. Uh, it's exhausting out on sell on the sell side. Okay, we start to kind of rotate back up, and buyers take control. Right, uh, and um, uh, so uh, offering the volume uh, within the microstructure uh, gives you a lot of insight here. Okay, but that's just half the picture. Uh, we want to also understand the other side of order flow, and that's the uh, limit order book. Okay, where are they auctioning uh, for this uh, product? Usually, that occurs uh, in the current market. Uh, understanding the um, uh, the limit order book. All right. So uh, let me get to a few questions here that uh, uh, want to answer questions that you guys have and uh, interrupt myself. Interrupt me any time here. Uh, I want to go through your guys' questions about uh, the, um, uh, you know, anything you may have about this. Uh, but um, uh, that's what this webinar is 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 for. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Brian, your book map is locked up. Scrolling, but nothing. Hmm. but not showing any price changes. Um, okay, you probably lost connectivity, Brian. Maybe try another symbol. See if uh, see if you just see like, a, a, you know, your, basically what you're gonna see is your best bid and offer is just gonna go straight across, right? I imagine that's probably what happened. You might, maybe you lost connection to your uh, data provider. Yeah, that probably that probably is the case. Um, so, well, uh, I wouldn't refresh it. Um, if if you see that scrolling line going across here, um, uh, it, it's it's not connected. It, it, you know, check. Are are you, I think you're going through Ninja Trader, and if you are, see if uh, see if another chart is doing that that's connected. Okay, transact. All right, do you have another platform that is connected uh, to transact data? Okay, and, and it's working fine. Hmm. Uh, okay, not not sure what to tell you there, um, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, you can you can uh, you can try to refresh, I guess, but uh, no, I mean, it, if it sounds like a connectivity issue, uh, so I'm not really sure how to how to help you at, at this point. Um, I'd have to look, have to take a, a quick look at it. Yeah, you can try that. You're going to lose your data if you dis disconnect. That's the that's the issue. Okay. Uh, Jesus, uh, you want to look at uh, uh, big orders only. For example, uh, orders um, more than 100 contracts. Well, and that, what do you mean by orders? Uh, do you want to see um, uh, transactions that occurred for 100 contracts or greater. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let's uh, we'll take a look at that. Uh, let me um, let me just uh, quickly finish up here with the uh, limit order book. Okay. So here's our liquidity that we see here in the limit order book. This is the current snapshot of the market. You see where the traders are lined up down here at like 62.93, 85 contracts. Down at 90, there's 143 contracts. We're, we're, we understand the auction here where, where traders are lining up to deal uh, in this auction. It gives a lot of insight here. Okay. We're at 6,300, the figure. Okay. There's always going to be some interest at this area here. Um, but the problem is with the dome, uh, it gives a great snapshot of current market, but no historical market. And that's, a, that's an issue, right? Because uh, we want to understand how they, be, how they previously behaved uh, in, the, in the market. So look at the interest up here at 6,300, okay? And now they're starting to pull and add higher. 
we can see it very clearly. Uh, in this window here, okay, you see the heat map changing. Well, it's reflecting the liquidity that's added and pulled in the dome. Okay, so areas of high liquidity are bright white, and uh, uh, now we can see historically how they're transposed onto the chart. So now we have a complete picture of the market. Okay, we have, and let's just take off the candles now. Okay, we have the uh, historical best bid and offer that shows microstructure. We're seeing the volume that takes place on the historical best bid and offer. And now we also have the historical uh, auction, okay, where, they're, where they were previously bidding and offering. It's all, it's all been uh, 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 recorded here. All right, so uh, Jesus, let's get to your question here. Uh, you want to look at uh, larger uh, transactions? Absolutely. Yep, uh, real easy to do. Click on studies, configuration. Uh, click on volume dots here, uh, and then um, uh, minimum accountable trade size. This is going to look at trade events that took place for a specific size. Okay, your block orders. All right. So on Nasdaq, let's let's input 10 and let's see what we get. Okay. Well, you don't see a lot. I right? we don't see we see very few. Okay. So uh, you know that's uh, that's the Nasdaq market. If I input five, okay, any transaction that now occurs. Uh, it's going to be for five uh, contracts or greater, right? And now we start to see some of these transactions, okay? And that's how you do it. Okay, there are all sorts of ways of filtering for the volume. That is one way. Um, the uh, I usually just keep things on default, and I I like the smart dot clustering. Okay, this is uh, an algorithm that starts to put together the clustering of the dots. Okay, understand where they're going. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome, uh, Jesus. Uh, Brian. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, are you are you reconnected at all? Anything show back up? Okay. Okay. Great. All right. Um, you had to disconnect and reconnect. That's that's unfortunate. And I'm not sure why, uh, because you're gonna lose your data. But uh, uh, usually, um, uh, you know. Even with transact, if it disconnects, just wait until it reconnects. Uh, is usually what uh, you know I've seen, um, and uh, uh, you won't lose any of your data. But um, uh, yeah, anyway. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, well let's uh, let's get into some of the order flow now. All right, so um, uh, you know we were looking at um, uh, the Nasdaq here. Okay, we were looking way back here at this double bottom, uh, and um, uh, what do we look at? Let's just go through current market. What do we see right now? Okay. All right. Well, uh, they're here at 6,300, the figure, really important number. We know that. We see the high liquidity just above it here. Okay. So um, uh, the sellers are up here. Uh, we know that. Look at them layer in up here. Okay. We know that uh, larger larger uh, players are up in these areas. Okay. We even have the large lot tracker here that shows them holding a specific amount of liquidity up here. Hey, where are they on the bid? Well, they're starting to show some interest here around 97, but uh, they're not, this is, see how we're able to make the distinction here in bookmap because they're pulling, they're adding and pulling. So it answers the question, are these traders in this auction, do they really mean to trade here? And the answer is no, because they're pulling, right? So they're in, in any, just think of an auction uh, uh, environment. Uh, if, uh, you know, there's someone in that auction and price comes down to a specific, specific level and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I want to buy there. I want to buy there. Uh, but then uh, uh, as soon as price comes uh, really close to him, he goes, no, you know what? I changed my mind. I don't want to buy there. Well, that's what's occurring here. Okay. So this guy does not have intent to trade. So we're able to determine that here by looking at this historically. Okay. Uh, and it looks like these guys, they do have the intent at the moment, but we will see once price gets up into these areas. Okay. So now on the bid, uh, they're, you know, dropping it down to uh, these areas here at 95 and a half and uh, 94 and a half around this area. Okay. And note that they just pulled as well at 95 and a half. Okay. And now they're a little lower. All right. So anyway, uh, now we can start to put all of this together and this is where it gets really insightful is we we can put all of this together uh, in your trading methodology so let's say for example your volume profile guy well here we are going sideways 
Where are we finding responsive buyers? Well, we, we can see them in the limit order book. They're down here at these areas here. Responsive sellers, they're up here. Okay. And we're just channeling between those two right now. Okay. Uh, and uh, we're getting a real good feel for uh, where the, you know, we have a volume profile here uh, as well uh, for this range. I'm looking at just this range. It's a chart range volume profile. Uh, and, uh, and now I'm starting to understand if there's a, if let's say I want to be a buyer, let's say I'm looking for, I'm bullish. I'm looking for a break of this uh, range and for it to come back into the range and trade to the other side here. Okay. Let's say that's your, your, uh, your strategy here. All right. Well, you, you want to see if uh, 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 you know, this liquidity here, um, how it's behaving, if it pulls um, and uh, if, if it gets filled or if uh, you know uh, the, if we exhaust out, uh, we trade through this area and then exhaust out. Okay, and we found we find lack of sellers. Look for the aggressive buyers to start coming in. Okay, look for them to start pulling uh, their liquidity. Uh, and uh, you know we can see them up here now at 63. Okay, so looks like we want to test this area at 94. Okay, well just as I say that it drops a point, point and a half, uh, and um, uh, so yeah, here we are now. Let's see if we go down to 93. Okay, so we just traded through. Okay. Okay, and uh, now did these did these sellers or these buyers transact? Okay, we can zoom in here and we can see them hitting the bid into these limit orders. So we know that uh, uh, the, this was real liquidity. Okay, a lot of it was ver was real liquidity. They they stayed in the book and they traded, okay? making that distinction. All right. Uh, so uh, now we know that uh, there's there's interested uh, you know buyers at some of these levels, all right? Okay, let's look at this. What just transacted down here? Yeah, they're they're buying as well, all right? So um, uh, we know that uh, they're starting to absorb uh, some of the price. I'm looking for the aggressive buyer to step in right now. Okay, I'm looking for it to come up at least to uh, this swing here, the probably around 97. Uh, and then uh, let's see if we can get up above the, the point of control or this most traded price level at 98. And uh, let's see if we can hit the, the other side of the range now up here around 6300, the figure, or 6301. All right. Anyway, I'll leave you with that. I've got to, uh, I've got to jump. Uh, for those of you registered, uh, we'll see you in the next webinar. Okay.